took over in December of 2022, she made history as the first female to hold the office. I'm delighted to be joined today by the 43rd Los Angeles City Attorney, Heidi Feldstein Soto. So nice to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. It's how, a pleasure to be here. How exciting to take this office knowing that you have just opened the door for so many people in the future. Did you really feel that when you took over, that being the first woman in office was going to make a difference? I did. It felt um, like a lighter office for a change. Um, uh, I have focused on um, the internal reorganization of the office to have an executive leadership team that looks like Los Angeles. Mm. And I think that all of those priorities were um, in part because of my background and who I am. It is such a large office. Can you kind of consolidate what some of the sincere day-to-day -day operations are? Yes, I put my job in three buckets. Okay. Bucket one, management and administration of a workforce that's close to a thousand employees. Um, with lawyers and paralegals and hearing officers and investigators and a business office and all that goes with managing that big a corporate body. The second bucket I put it in is practicing law. And that's everything from representing the city of Los Angeles, all interpretations of state and federal law and how they affect our city rest with my office. All advice, Brown Act advice, political advice, ongoing advice on how to get something done for the hundreds of boards and commissions of the city, as well as for 17 other elected officials, rests with my office. And the prosecution of misdemeanors committed by adults within the city of Los Angeles, where the people of the state of California, as opposed to the city of Los Angeles, is the client. That all rests with my office. I'm the general counsel to the Los Angeles World Airports, the general counsel to the Los Angeles Harbor and Port, and the general counsel to the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. All of the departments from animal services to the zoo and everything in between. Whatever the city does, we touch it in some manner. The last piece of the job, the third bucket, that I haven't paid as much attention to over the last year, because I've really been focused on getting my arms around the office, is being an elected official and making sure that as an elected official, I'm responsive to the needs of my constituents, responsive to the needs beyond just city government, and sponsoring legislation in Sacramento that will hopefully help our city moving forward, um, doing the outward facing task of the office. And that's hopefully gonna be my focus in this next year. Thank you so much, Heidi. I really appreciate your time. This has been spectacular. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you so much, Maria, and I look forward to coming back.